So my presentation is about Costco or Posta. So Costco, I think most of the people here are pretty familiar with that. It's a wholesale corporation. Got got to start at Seattle, Washington in 1983, 11 years before Amazon and 21 years after Walmart. So in 1993, Costco merged with a company that was built on a warehouse model that went through several name chains before selling the Costco company's name. So for Costco, the current stock price actually 165.9 plus 1.61 and then headquarters is in Washington I, I'm not sure was how to pronounce the city it's a quad okay CEO is W. Craig Jalin Jalinik and funding September 15, 1983 Seattle which I already mentioned so Costco right now it has 7, 745 41 warehouse and in worldwide, it has 514 in, uh, oh, okay, so it's 741 in worldwide and 514 in uh, 44 states in the United States and Puerto Rico. And there's 97 in nine provinces, uh, nine provinces in Canada with room revenues of more than 17 billion in 2014 and 37 in 18 states in Mexico. So there's some um, BMC about Costco. For Costco, they have uh, for the for their sales channel, it's really simple. Which is basically one of them is you can go to the store, be a member of the Costco, and buy buy stuff in the warehouse. Also, you can do online shopping that's accessible to non-members. <laughs> They have um, 700, more than 700 warehouse in U.S. That's only accessible for members. So if you want to shop, do shopping in Costco in U.S., you must have a membership card. However, they have since Costco expanded their business into worldwide, their stores outside U.S., such as in Canada, U.K., Mexico, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, Australia, and Spain. You don't need a membership card to um, do your shopping. Also, Costco has a lot of competitors, which obviously Walmart and Target is their biggest competitor. So do Amazon, Warehouse Club, also Kroger. And there's some, there's a list of the things they sell. And I found the comment pretty funny because um, it's basically everyone sells in Costco. It says like I haven't heard about the new stores coming in their area. Yeah. But it, it doesn't matter if you can sign up for membership to shop. So I think for Costco, people are mostly attractive. <sighs> Okay, attractive principally by the quality of the merchandise and the availability of low price. Basically, they're attractive by their um, membership reward and their low price because it's a wholesale store. So basically, the price you got in Costco is definitely lower than in other grocery stores such as the Walmart, Target. And also, you see that exclusive member who spend more than other members, well, representing 39% of the paid car holder at the end of 2016, 2015, 2014. And there's also an increase in the rapid growth for the young new members, since more and more people are joining the Costco membership. And they're having a really great sell right now. So there's some business management. I'll try to paraphrase it simply, in a simple way, which for their um, missions is to provide members with, uh, is provide their shop, uh, their customers and members a good price for uh, high quality stuff, and also for their boss business model, Costco use a membership only warehouse, which is um, exclusive only for Costco because we as we know that for Amazon, for Target, for 
um, Walmart, you don't need a membership card, you can just go in and shop, but basically the price you got in those kind of website or supermarket is definitely higher than Costco, but, but Costco provided membership card for um, for the customers and then which if you pay for if you join the membership card that's one of the reward is you will get low price stuff and high, with high quality and um, also for stretch stretch um, for strategy Costco gen and generic strategy is cost leadership so this strategy entails the maintaining of lowest price possible so you always see people went to Costco and like they brought a bunch of stuff with like at, like when you see if you go to a normal grocery store you just buy like a bottle of water but when you go to Costco you maybe buy like one box or two boxes of <coughs> instead of just buying like a bottle because they have high quality and they are trying to maintain the lowest price and this is the RE which you can see right now in the past 13 years, Costco wholesale crop highest return on the equity, which is the ROE, was 21.93%, um, um, and the lowest was 11.30%, and the medium was 14.22%. So I also have like an explanation part for the, return, for the return on equity. It is calculated as net income attributed, uh, attributable to common stockholders, which is the net income minus the preferred dividends paid. That's divided by its total equity. So as you can see that right now, I think Costco for their um, return on equity, they're doing pretty well right now. They rank higher than like 86% of the 368 companies in the global industry. So, uh, compared to the last presentation for Gary's North Shore, um, there's def for Costco, I think they definitely spend a little bit more money on having more products for their customers. But also at the same time, instead of maintain as the common price in the business market, they trying to use a low price to attract customers. So it might be one of the reasons why their uh, return on equity is not as high as some other supermarket which they have a higher price than them. On the P ratio, which is calculated by dividing the current market price of stock by its earnings per share, and it shows the sum of money you are ready to pay for each repeat worth of the earning of the company. So Right now, the current P ratio is 28.8, and in the past 13 years, the highest is 32.76, and the lowest was 14.33, and the median was 25.15. So, yeah, as we already know from uh, Gary's presentation, for P ratio, it's lower the better, and for Costco's PE ratio is ranked lower than 72% of the 300, uh, 305 companies in the global industry. So I think they're doing pretty well right now, trying to keep the ratio as low as possible. And they already have, um, so right now it's 28.8, um, so it's like between the middle of their uh, lowest and highest and close to the media. Lastly, it's net margin. So it's calculated as the net income divided by its revenue. So cost, um, so Costco's net margin rank higher than 52% of the 376 companies in the global industry. So as you can see, it's, um, their minimum was 1.52. And then their max was 2.06 and currently is 2.06, which currently is their max net income and uh, net margin. So I think um, from the last, from the net mark, from the uh, stats we got for net margin, P, for net margin, P ratio, and ROE, we can tell that it's really different from Gary's, our last presentation, which is Norse Norm. 
the one of the big reasons is I also check like the these stats for Target and uh, Walmart. I think relatively for that margin, they are they are more they are higher than like more percent of the business in industry. Also for P ratio, um, it is they are also lower than probably like eighty or ninety percent. I think that's all related to what I just said that um, because Costco is one of their main goal is trying to maintain a low price. So they will spend their own they will spend most of their own money to buy a lot of products for their customers but maintain a low price. And lastly, we're gonna talk about if Costco is a great stock to keep. I think Costco is definitely a great great stock to keep. Right now, I think in the business area, we um, <laughs> Costco already Costco already um, beat Walmart and Target in their wholesales. Also, Costco for Walmart. I know that Walmart in the past year they have already expanded their business into worldwide. However, from the information I got and the stats I got from the website, they don't really have a good sales in other country. However, for Costco, I know it has because it has like recently they opened a new store in uh, Eastern Asia area, which they have a great sales over there. I've also listened to their conference for the past for the past season, which they have doing well in all Canada, Mexico, Korean, and Taiwan's store and. Also, Costco is going to open their first store in China next month. So there, it's also a non-membership uh, store instead of like membership store in U.S. And they're also trying to keep the lowest price in the business, uh, in in the industry in China, which is going to compete with other supermarket in the industry. So I think Costco is definitely a good stock for us to keep. Thank you. So do you guys want to, somebody want to give them a, give her a love sandwich? Oh. Or do we have any questions? Love sandwich. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, you guys. Oh, yeah, I was like, giving something. Go ahead. So I really, oh, I really like how you um, did your presentation.